Hi Pisces, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October, actually for October, I should say. It's Mary, Leo Sunlight Insight, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. New viewers, welcome. Those returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, and past Pisces playlist. Tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. And just before we get started, thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated, so thank you. Thank you, everybody, for all your support, helping to grow the channel, getting these messages out to the people that need to hear them. So liking, sharing, all that great stuff would really help, and I would truly, truly appreciate that. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel and helping it grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Pisces, general reading for October. Let's see what we have for Pisces. So I will read this as a general reading. I And if you can fit it into your life in any way, um, other than a general reading, like a love situation, if it does fit that way, please fit it into your life. If it does resonate with you, if you watch this and it doesn't resonate, Please don't leave me, leave me comments that my reading is wrong or whatever. It's just not your energy this time and it's not your reading. So I ask that you don't leave me comments that um, my reading is not correct because I'll just delete it. <laughs> but I ask that you don't unsubscribe because the next reading may be for you. So um, not every reading will be for everybody. So just to put that out there. Okay, so I hope everybody's doing well coming into the... Fall season, happy early Halloween. All righty, Pisces. All right, this is a uh, zodiac oracle. Could get a planet sign element. And if you don't resonate with, if we get a sign, you don't resonate with that sign that comes out, that's totally fine. So, what do we have for Pisces? Well, we have Virgo. So, some of you could have a Virgo around you, some way, shape, or form, friend, family member co-worker, maybe you have Virgo heavily in your chart in some way or somebody around you does, but the Virgo energy also is the Hermit and Tarot, which is about going into solitude and doing some deep um, soul searching and inner work. So I don't know if that means anything, uh, some of you, and I'm just noticing here that Virgo is six, Pisces are 12, so that's half of your number, so you may not be feeling like yourself, you may not be feeling whole at this time, and that's why you need to do some inner healing and journey work, soul searching. All right. Six is also a number of balance, healing and balance. Balance. Twelve. One and two is three. That's about doing work, teamwork, collaboration, working together, or just, you know, working a foundation of some kind learning new things. So I know we'll see what's going on with you, Pisces, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? First, well, I keep saying first half of October, <laughs> October or October. What do we have for Pisces for October? What's going on with Pisces? What do they need to know? It's way too many. We have one card to start for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. For October, what do they need to know? What's the message for them for October? We'll take this one. Service, I feel good when I can help others. So maybe some of you here are just helping out those around you. <laughs> Friends, family, co-workers, maybe your job is sort of like a service job in some way, like you service other people, you help them, you guide them, uh, some kind of service here. So. I don't know, we'll see what that's about. Let's see what's on the top here. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it represents. So whatever here, you're very grateful for the things in your life right now. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So, hmm. so that's a message for some of you. And then under that we have Friendship, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So some of you may be grateful for the friends in your life right now. Maybe they lift you up. They make you feel good. Um, 
and that could be the service maybe friends lending you an ear a shoulder to cry on um something like that i don't know or maybe you um volunteer with friends in some way all right i don't know that could be just uh, some messages for some of you it may not be for everybody all right I feel like, you know, you're, you're starting to see the good things in life again. You're starting to feel good again. Starting to have a positive outlook again. Um, feeling like you can donate your time to people, places, things, friends. All right, so let's see. So just wanted to stay on the table. So we have the Ace of Wands. Brand new passionate beginning. Can be a creative idea it can be a new endeavor a project something here that you're very passionate about maybe you just recently started volunteering with friends in some way maybe you have a lot of fun together and you're very grateful of this opportunity to um you know help others in some way all right so now we have the magician and then we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something that's unfulfilling, but you walk can always walk to, it's either walking away from something unfulfilling or walking to something more fulfilling than where you've been, like a new opportunity, a new um, situation. Then you have the Magician. So this is manifesting this new beginning. So you're in the process here of manifesting a new beginning for yourself that you're very passionate about and you know you could have walked away from something here in the past but now you're taking those steps forward uh, in a new direction with this ace of wands energy all right so let's get the magician is like a brand new beginning because it's number one so we have the six of cups what else to clarify your energy here? Six of Cups. What else to clarify the energy here? And the Three of Wands. So the Six of Cups, what are energy here? So we have fire. We have, with the Magician here, we have Gemini Virgo. Water is your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Fire is Sag, Sag Aries Leo. Now we have Cups again, your energy. And then we have fire again. So the Six of Cups talks about um, memories, nostalgia, reminiscing, things of the past, your childhood, your childhood home, and that sort of energy. So, and then you have the Three of Wands, fire energy, which is about going in a new direction, making new plans, going, um, making those plans to go in a new direction, making um, a change looking out and seeing your future, seeing what you want, but it's a period of waiting. It's like you see it, you want to go for it, but for some reason there's a period of waiting first before you can move on with those plans and decisions that you've made. It may involve going back home, moving back to your childhood home here with the Six of Cups energy. And that could be what you're walking to because you have the Six of an eight of cups you know some of you may be moving back to your childhood home for some of you and manifesting some sort of new beginning there like getting back in touch with your old friends from childhood um being grateful for that opportunity it looks like being grateful for whatever you've went through that you had to walk away from because now it's giving you this new opportunity that you're feeling very happy and excited about because you have humor here because now you're able to reconnect with old family friends you haven't seen in a very long time since childhood. Wow, okay. So let's see if we can get like your actual situation here. Your actual situation for you, Pisces. Your actual situation, what's going on with Pisces. We have the King of Pentacles. 
So what? We have the King of Pentacles, which is Earth energy. So, and he has the Virgo energy. So you could have Virgo in your chart. Or this is just your energy, king or queen, of being very stable and grounded now, being independent, being able to stand on your own two feet, take care of yourself. This is all about growth, abundance, stability, uh, being smart, practical, analytical, um, business savvy also. Somebody here, business savvy, just very smart, analytical, like I said, practical, can take care of themselves. And then right in the middle of your spread, you have the nine of pentacles. So you might have newly become single here. This is the single energy. It's like the minor arcana of the empress. So knowing your value, your worth. Again, because you have the king or a queen. This is the king, but it can be king or queen. doesn't matter. It's just energy and the nine of pentacles. So being stable and grounded off all on your own, uh, taking care of yourself, you know, very independent energy, taking care of yourself. Then you have the tower here. So Aries energy. So, you know, this is about, this can be about something breaking down and causing something to end. This can be a shocking revelation. This can be a surprise. Maybe you're surprising your um, family and friends from childhood by just like going back and just surprising everybody. Or there was some sort of ending tower moment uh, that caused some kind of disruption that caused an ending for you. And that's why you have this new beginning with the Ace of Wands. All right, so let's get a few more clarifiers for your situation here. So we have the Two of Cups, which can talk about people uniting, coming together, partnerships, having peace, harmony, unconditional love towards one another, happiness and joy, reconnecting to people, or it can be more than two people. And then you have the seven of swords. So this is kind of sneaky, deceitful kind of energy, untrusted kind of energy. And I'm placing it near the tower. So I feel like, you know, cause you got the eight of cups over there. So I feel like there was some sort of lies, deceit, sneaky behavior that caused this tower moment that caused an ending for you in some way. It could have been with family, friends, a marriage here. It could have been in your workspace. Because the Ace of Wands can be a new uh, career opportunity. It's about, a lot of times it's about self-employment. For some, as you have the King of Pentacles there, it can also be a business owner or a high-ranking boss or something like that. But, you know, I feel like if you're moving back home, the Two of Cups here is just speaking of re- connecting with those loved ones from the past and coming back into union with them, with that energy. So let me move all these over here. All right. And no, that does talk about soulmate union, but a soulmate can be anybody. It can be friends, family. It doesn't have to be a love partner. A soulmate can be your, your dog, you know? <laughs> co-worker you know it can be anybody that you are totally you totally align with in some way all right so let's get some advice for you it's way too many wow now we have the ace of cups so again this is a brand new another brand new beginning of peace harmony joy self-fulfillment happiness and abundance you know, in your life and everything around you. So now having a divinely gifted new opportunity for you here that you'll be so aligned, having, you know, so much self-love for yourself, compassion moving forward, feeling like renewed. And then you have the six of one. So that's success and victory. S success and victory. So whatever new beginning you're embarking on moving forward to is just going to be um, full of happiness, joy, unconditional love, fulfillment in every single way for you, peace, harmony, and having success and victory in whatever direction you're going in. Wow. Okay. So your advice is to keep going for it. Keep going in the direction that you're going in. All right. So let's get more. Let's get more. 
page of pentacles, the three of pentacles. So, so the page of pentacles is the earth energy. Again, can be a message. It can be an opportunity. Um, it's communication. So it's either a new opportunity, could be something career-wise, business-wise, as you have the Ace of Wands there, that's being, that perhaps was presented to you. And now he has the Three of Pentacles. So this is working together, teamwork, collaboration, cooperation, um, compromise. So learning new skills and uh, things like that. So I feel like <laughs> you might have had a new career, some sort of career opportunity presented to you. And now you're working and learning new skills. And you could, could have moved back home and learning a whole new skill set. And you'll be very successful. You'll be very happy and joyous. Brand new beginnings and fulfillment in every single way. You'll be very passionate about it with the Ace of Wands there. Feeling very fiery and determined. Two Aces. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands. And now we have Strength, which is Leo Energy. So this is using all your inner strength, courage, being brave, strong, um, taming the beast within, the courage to keep moving on, going forward with strength. Actually, I pulled, actually that is your possible outcome. So that is being, you know, very, very strong, being tougher for everything you've been through and being grateful for all the lessons that you've had to learn because it's made you this strong lion from within to move forward and stand on your own two feet. All right, so let's get two more for your possible outcome. Or Pisces. So we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, a lot of Earth here. Now we got the queen. So now we got the king and queen of pentacles. And I'm not, and usually when you get the king and queen, and in in a, especially in a love reading, it's like soulmates. But this is a general reading. So I just feel like this is your energy. Just being very, very strong now with the strength there. Independent. Taking care of yourself. You don't need anybody now. You, you're very strong and strong-willed and independent. And taking care of yourself now with the queen and the king of pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is that balance. So being very balanced, being very financially practical, smart, savvy, balancing everything out. Wow. Being very, very balanced is your outcome and very strong, stable, sturdy, grounded, growth, abundance, being very strong, minded, willed, moving forward to aces for beginnings. Wow. See what's on the bottom? And now we've got the Queen of Wands. So... Not only that, but feeling very fiery, passionate, because you did start with the Ace of Wands, moving forward, going after what you want with that strength and courage with the Strength card. Being very fiery and uh, determined to be successful. All right, so I had a feeling this would show up. So this is the Angel de Lanui, and this is the Tarot of the Night deck, and this is the only deck that has this card, and the Angel of the Night, here, she says that things will transform for you. There'll be a positive outcome. Things will go in your favor. You'll be blessed. And uh, after the darkness comes the light, there'll be light at the end of the tunnel. And you, you will be transformed and you will be have many blessings here with that angel. Then you have hangman, cancer, Pisces. That's your energy. So this is kind of, you know, going with the flow, taking a step back taking a pause, reflecting, looking at everything from every angle and analyzing it and getting new perspectives. So it might have been a pause or a break or something you were attached to in the past. It's what you're walking away from. But the emperor energy here is Aries is now taking control of your life and moving forward, being in control, taking charge. Now we have the queen of cups energy, which is your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Being in that self-fulfilled, self-love, compassionate sort of energy moving forward. Feeling very happy, happy and joyous again. And the King of Cups underneath that. So you're, you have a, you're in a lot of positive energy right now as yourself, as the Queen of Cups, taking charge of your life. After reflecting for a while there, transforming and having many blessings. 
and be, being very fiery and passionate as you move forward. Wow. So let's just get a couple more messages for you, Pisces. A couple more messages for you, Pisces. So with the service card there, I don't know, like I said, maybe... Um, Maybe, like I said, you're volunteering with friends. I don't know. Or maybe whatever new opportunity you're seizing now, it's like a service job of some kind. I don't know. I don't know. So let's see. With the humor there, I think you're just feeling, you're feeling happy after maybe going through something because you had the tower moment there and walking away from that. Definitely because the tower is sitting right under the Eight of Cups. So whatever tower moment you had in the past, whatever came crumbling down here, you're definitely walking away from that, walking into this new opportunity, and you're very empowered here. I'm surprised we didn't get the Empress energy. But we have, you know, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. The only one we don't have is the Queen of Swords because the Empress does embody all the queens so you have almost all the queens here anyway okay so now this flew out here we have self-sabotage when you learn to let go out of your own when you learn to get out of your own way there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals it's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans so i feel like we have the hangman show up there so this might have been that pause that you had taken here, um, you know, maybe you had some self-sabotaging self -sabotaging thoughts moving forward after an ending here, thinking, you know, I can't, what if I can't do it? What if I can't go get on my own? What if I can't be independent, um, take care of myself or whatever here? But you, <laughs> you got three queens, two aces. I don't think you have to worry here. Okay. You know, in the Virgo, I mean, you could have a Virgo around you in some way. Um, we do, I mean, if you have a lot of friends that are really, really, really helping you, one could be an earth sign, one could be a fire sign. Um, all right, so any other messages for Pisces? A lot of yellow here, so that's a lot of the solar plexus, which is being true to you, following your soul, your soul purpose. Uh, being authentic from within. So I feel like you're finally being your true self and being authentic to who you truly are. Oh, we got two messages here. So we have cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, and t or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. So I feel like you've definitely... With the Eight of Cups there, walked away, cleansed some things out of your life. And now you're going for your new beginning. So now we have Animal Kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. So something with animals here for some of you, if that means anything. A spe special message from... Um, the animal kingdom so all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck we have seek the power of spirit exists in all things everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you we are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another so So I don't know, that's maybe a message for some of you. I thought this card read that whatever you seek is seeking you, but it just says seek. So maybe you need to get more in touch with your spiritual side, your faith, your religion, whatever it is here for you. So yeah, and on the bottom there we have uh, let go. So I definitely feel like you let go of something after this tower moment, and that's definitely here. Uh, what you're walking away from so we have let go once you let go of the outcome you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you so 
and I do feel for some you definitely you know let go let go of the outcome you weren't so self sabotaging yourself about moving forward in a new direction here and you just kind of went with the flow was with the hangman and now you're very strong stable grounded you're emotionally fulfilled um, passionate new beginning excited for the future Okay, Pisces, uh, if this didn't resonate for you, you can watch, you can watch uh, past playlists. Just, they're in the description box below. Something there may resonate for you. I'd say disregard the titles. If you see something catches your eye, I'd say watch it anyway. If you do like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. Right now, I do a love connection and a general, and I wa was doing those twice a month. But I'm thinking of adding two new readings and just doing one love connection, one general, adding a spirit guide messages oracle reading and a singles reading, a singles love reading for those who are single, incoming love, who's coming towards you, who, when, where, how type of reading if you're single and wondering when you may find love. So if you're interested in that, you can leave me some comments below and I may be starting those this month. So you do get four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. So good luck to you here moving forward, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, it's always, always shine your light.